Hey, welcome to another video from Avenue X. Looking at Chinese Romland in the past week, but not quite. As you're watching this video, Avenue X is already in China. I am traveling this week. Because of that, I have to film this video quite a few days before when there's hardly any news updating since last week. But still, since I've already kept the record to up to 190 weeks nonstop, I just don't want to have a break. And so we're gonna still have a fakish weekly report on Chinese drama land where hardly anything happens. I still have a couple of things I can talk about drama land, but let me quickly tell you I have shut down my shop because I cannot be shipping stuff out for you until I come back in fall. It should be working on my website but in case people accidentally somehow ended up in my shop, just don't buy anything. Now, that's physical, okay? Also, while I'm away on holiday, I'll try to stick to my drama reviews but I cannot promise that. I have no idea how crazy stuff is gonna get once I get back to China because I have so many things I haven't done for four years <laughs> of not going back. If I cannot have time to watch that many dramas, I'll make a couple of other videos. I don't know, a travel vlog. Anybody cares about that? Because I would be in a couple of places. So if you're interested in seeing that, do let me know in the comment section. I'll check. On that. One last thing before I start to talk about a couple of drama thing is I got approached by somebody who is studying at Auckland University on the other side of the planet and she is doing a PhD and they are doing a research topic on a very interesting thing which is the fan translated English version of BL novel Guardian. So if you have been a Guardian fan back in 2018 and you've watched the drama, read the book, English fan translated version and you think you can provide some help to their research, I'll leave a link in the description box of this person's survey. It's anonymous, you just click in and then finish it in a couple of minutes. It will just, you know, usual surveys of university research project. If you can help that person out, that would be great. And I'll thank you for her in advance. Now let's talk about a couple of things that still has happened in Dramaland. First is on 27th, the Infiltrator will air as planned on Tencent and CCTV, but they've just changed the title somehow from Qian Fu Zhe to Qian Xing Zhe. It just means somebody is undercover or somebody is walking under a cover. And I think the reason might be many years ago, there was a really successful Chinese espionage drama also set in Mingguo period called Qian Fu. And this is Qian Fu Zhe. Maybe that's why they think it sounds too much alike that they changed it to Qian Xing Zhe. It really doesn't make a difference, technically speaking. It is the Huang Xiaoming Jiang Xing led drama. Then we have a couple of dramas that's set to start airing in Q3. So it should happen before September, something like that. And one of them is a drama I've already talked about, Sunrise, Yilu Zhao Yang or Yilu Chao Yang, depending on how they name it. And that one is a contemporary drama led by Li Lan Di and Wang Yang. And the other is a espionage drama that I haven't even heard about. Supposedly will go on CCTV, also during Q3, called The Nest. Feng Chao, Chinese name means beehive. And it's very long, it's 53 episodes. It must have gotten some special license because it's beyond 40 episodes. And it's led by Song Yi and Han Dong. Song Yi's acting career is tied with this type of role because she got more noticed since the Hu Ge, Wang Kai, Jin Dong, Ming Guo espionage drama where she also plays a spy. So this time she's doing another one like that. Curious to see how that's gonna turn out. So these are two Q3 dramas we are likely to see soon. And then during this week, we did have the two clearly put out to fight against each other parent drama showing up on ITE, Lian Hua Lou, Lotus Casebook, and Changxiang Si Lost You Forever on Tencent. Both dramas, I'm pretty up to date as I'm recording today. I'll try to stick to their daily updates as I travel. Lotus Casebook will finish airing technically on August 18th if they don't do the pay me more money and watch the last six episodes a week before. Same thing to Lost You Forever. Their schedule is for it to finish airing its 39 episodes by the day 23rd of August. Again, that is before they do the pay me money thing. If it turns out to be popular enough and there's money to be made, they probably will do it. Nothing can stop them. So far, I'm okay with both. They are in a very blunt way better than Anle Zhuan, okay? as period idolish drama, very different. One is more wuxia and not really having any gods and immortals. The other one, everybody is not a human. <laughs> Good thing about both dramas are I believe they're all original voice, the actors doing their own lines, so that's very 
Mm -hmm. Although I do have to say for Lotus case book, Cheng Yi and Zeng Shunxi's lines need to get more work. But the plot is quite fun and I feel the drama only start to get really funny recently when three men came together instead of only two men at the beginning of the drama. As for Chang Xiang Si, I'm right now recording this only at episode six. Dramatic storytelling wise, it's not boring. And then character wise, it's also slowly building people up, which I appreciate. And it's actually not so heavy on romance or heavy on those tropey destined love thing. It feels actually more of a type of, try to make it as grounded and as realistic as possible but still being a fantasy drama type of thing and then in terms of who is gonna win the battle of the summer slot or which one or if either of them is gonna be the hot drama of the summer so far it's hard to tell it may not be these two either maybe we'll have to go well into august i mean we still have young blood too you know that's like on the brink of airing early August, most likely. The outlook is very interesting, but definitely not yet clear. So that would conclude this very unusual, weird, not normal weekly video from Avenue X. And if interesting thing happens, and I'll let you know. <laughs> also, just pray for my VPN to work properly so that I can actually upload videos to YouTube. I have no idea, I'm going in blind. I've got a few, but hey, whether it works out, I have no idea. That should be the end of this video. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. I have no idea when that's gonna be. Also, I have no idea whether it's gonna be about dramas, but hey, how about that? For change, please take care, live long and happy drama watching.